Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. We are looking at a video that just popped on my homepage right when I logged into YouTube. Thought I had to check it out because, oh goodness, I can only imagine. Uh, it's titled Investigation After Two Americans Spend the Night in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> so we're just going to check it out, see what this is about. And uh, it, it makes me nervous <laughs> because this sounds like the kind of headline that gives, well, gives the kind of bad stereotype, like gives Americans a bad name, right? And it's annoying. It's like, dude, there's so many awesome people here. Just like every country has good people and, and goofy people and bad people, whatever. Um, yeah, we get a bad rap on stuff. And it's because of goofballs like this that make the headlines that really do extraordinarily questionable decisions, that's to say. So let's just check it out and see what the hell we're working with here. Of <laughs> tourist behaving badly and authorities in Paris now investigating awesome. after two Americans were found sleeping in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Our foreign correspondent <laughs> James Longman has the latest for us. Good morning. Why? Friends. Yeah, good morning, Robin. This really is a wild vacation story. French authorities say two American men had tickets to go up the Eiffel Tower Sunday night. But then they say while walking back down, they jumped a set of security barriers. Oh my and God. And they were apparently so drunk, according to the prosecutor, they ended up spending the night in a restricted area between the second and third levels of the monument. They weren't discovered until the morning when Holy a specialist crap. firefighter unit had to recover them. They were a question. Oh my God. So uh, that's trying to find the only positive point in this is they did have tickets to be there Sunday night. Okay. So I'm, I'm impressed by that, honestly. Surprised they didn't like somehow sneak up there, which I assume would be very hard. But it sounds like they abused that access, didn't they? They uh, went up to wherever the tickets were supposed to take them. And then, yeah, snuck into some corridor, jumped barriers, and fell asleep. First of all, that sounds pretty sketchy. It's nighttime. They're drunk. And they fell asleep uh, on a giant landmark that's uh well not a bad so <laughs> by the police and eiffel tower authorities have filed a complaint for trespass now they say they didn't pose any threat uh but that, that this is a situation i mean a threat to their lives though their own lives i feel like that's super dangerous and they had to get emergency crews involved and and that's that i always feel like i i feature a lot of videos with emergency crews that's one of the series i have on this channel and it's a crazy job uh, you know the crazy vehicles um, you know, is what we like to highlight and stuff. And then, of course, the drivers that have to go through traffic jams to go save lives and stuff. It's a wild um, gig. And I feel like as an uh, emergency crew, emergency responder, whatever, it would be very annoying to, I mean, it, it's part of your driver still, you know, saving someone. But I feel like it would be annoying to respond to something and find out it's just two people being, you know, goofy, like something that was totally preventable as opposed to some sort of, natural disaster or you know real fire or something right uh so that's just kind of frustrating um that is ridiculous let's see what else is showing here the, 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 the opening of the eiffel tower had then to be delayed uh, and it couldn't open wow. at 9 a.m as planned on monday morning but tourists so they really kind of caused a rift there that's that's goofy wow are causing havoc in other parts of europe as well and what is going on in here italy too check this out there's a woman in blue here she's caught walking across rome's historic trevi <laughs> fountain only to fill up her water bottle a guard had to what on earth is she doing she can't find anywhere to fill that water or or buy a water somewhere else too. Check this out. There's a woman in well and behaving badly <laughs> in Italy too. Doing? Check this out. There's a woman Everyone's clearly behind this barrier, and she's just walking on these rocks. Like how sketchy, right? In blue here, she's caught walking across Rome's historic Trevi Fountain, only <laughs> oh to fill up God. her water bottle. A guard had to escort her away. And in June, this is pretty extraordinary. No shame. No shame at all. Like how embarrassing, guys. See. It is so great. Tourism is awesome. Like, it's my dream to go tour a bunch of countries, right? And I'm glad that if some Americans are lucky to get out, because that's another stereotype, is that Americans don't travel. Well, uh, good on any Americans that go across the world. That's really cool. But, dude, be a good tourist, right? Be respectful. Just be normal, right? Holy smokes. Don't be acting so goofy, man, in another country. 
It's so just bizarre, and, and it's uh, it's disrespectful, man. It's not a good look. Authorities say a British tourist was caught carving his name along with that of his girlfriend's no into way. the Colosseum. Oh Italy my is God! No way. A new sixty thousand dollar fine for the vandalism of historic monuments. What the hell is he doing? Italy's going hard, which they should. I mean, look at all the historic monuments we're talking about. The Colosseum. I mean, does it get any more famous than that? And this, by, by the way, not American. This is a British guy, they said. Carving into the Coliseum his name? What? Do you know how long that's been there? Nobody wants your dumbass name carved into it. Dollar fine for the vandalism of historic. Oh, so-and-so, 2023, y'all. I was here. Like, what? Get out of here. That's <laughs> Monuments, guys. <laughs> what is the matter with people? Yeah, what is the matter with people, man? That That's like... That's just, it, 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 you got to laugh almost because it's like almost shocking that people would do something so goofy. Uh, yeah, I would never think of carving my name into the Coliseum. That would be my last thought when I saw that grand, um, you know, historic landmark. So I don't know who am I, right? I mean, they, they got something else clearly going through their head. So I, I, I really can't relate. That is... That is the news that I've opened up, and uh, <laughs> that is, by the way, a typical uh, insight into American news. It is always just a wild uh, wild ride is the best way to put it. Uh, this is going to be a great video for comments because I feel like we've covered topics like this on funny interactions with tourists or Americans or, or whatever. Uh, we could spin this into another video sometime. So if you would like to leave any stories, anecdotes in the comments, I appreciate it about maybe uh, just any tourist. It doesn't have to be American tourists, though I fear people do have <laughs> stories of American tourists. Uh, one can hope that they're not all about Americans. But but yeah, yeah. if you have any stories of some interesting tourist uh, interactions you've had or, or some unsightly you know tourist actions you've witnessed, Please let me know in the comments if you will. That would be interesting to see. So, uh, yeah, that's a short little video for you today of two Americans spent the night in the Eiffel Tower and why they couldn't just, uh, you know, behave and enjoy the Eiffel Tower like like everyone else, you know, <laughs> without getting drunk and, and sleeping in there. You know, I don't really know. So throw a like on there if you laughed at this. Subscribe to be part of this amazing community. And uh, I guess that's about it for this one, y'all. My name is Ian. You watch the 9W Rocker. And until next time, be respectful when you're a tourist in another country. And, uh, well, I'll catch you later.